So, Connor, how are you feeling? Well, I'm not feeling too great, but I'm pulling through. Look, this condition is very serious, and I don't want you to do anything, do you understand? You really need to focus on getting better. Okay, but do you know when I'll get better? You're gonna have to live with this condition for your entire life, Connor. It's not gonna be easy. Oh no, was my voice ever gonna be normal? No, unfortunately that's a side effect of your condition. But hey, look, you can talk, right? So that's a positive. You have to focus on the positives in life now, Connor. I know, but I just want to be able to talk like everybody else. Can I at least go home soon? You can, but you have to come back here every week to check in. Okay. Well, thank you for all your help. No problem, Connor. I hope you start to feel better soon. Okay, okay, now it's time to practice some my writing out loud. I think this is a really good poem. Oh, I can't wait to share it with everybody. Okay, here it goes. Well, the sun rises, and I know that- Oh my gosh, oh, your voice is so annoying. Oh, Tony, what, what do you want from me? I don't want anything from you, man. All I want is for you to go away. I can't stand listening to you talk. I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk as normal as I can, but I'm really sick and I can't help it. Oh, man. You're a loser. Oh, stop it. Don't say that. I'm not a loser. I, I want to be a famous writer someday. You're never going to be a good writer or a speaker because no one wants to listen to some weirdo's opinions. I mean, your voice is so bad. Well, but I'm, I'm really trying. Yeah, no one cares, dude. Have fun with your lame hobby. Oh, man. Hey, Connor, I gotta say, your writing has been so good lately. Oh, wow, you really think so? Yeah, I really do. It's some of the best I've ever read. Oh, come on, you're just saying that. No, seriously, it's so honest and so good. I really think that you can make a living doing this. Oh, that's really nice because, uh, I don't know, I've been really self-conscious about it lately. People keep making fun of me for being different. Look, differences are the best part of life. It's what makes us all unique. You should never be ashamed for being yourself. Really? Yeah, of course. That's what makes your writing so good. You have a unique perspective that other people don't have. You should embrace it and be proud of it. Oh, wow. I guess you're right. I should. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. All right, well, I got to get going. I'll talk to you in class tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Have a nice night, Connor. Aw, oh, look who it is. Oh, just leave me alone, Tony. Just leave me alone, Tony. Oh, man, do you ever get tired of listening to yourself talk? Just stop it, okay? This is so annoying. Yeah, whatever, man. How's your stupid writing going? I bet terrible, because no one wants to hear it. Well, actually, teacher just said that it was some of the best he's ever read in his life. Yeah, of course he said that. He's trying to make you feel better. He knows that you're sick and you have some weird disease, so... He doesn't really think that, man. Oh, you take that back. It's not true. Of course it's true. What do you think the odds are that you're actually going to be some sort of impactful writer? No one cares, man. Oh, just leave me alone. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so tired of this. I just want to feel normal. I don't want my voice to sound like this anymore. I don't want to be picked on. Oh... Maybe everyone's right. Maybe I won't be a famous writer. Because no one wants to hear from me. They just think I'm a weirdo. But I want to be a writer more than anything. I feel like I have more to offer to the world. But no one's listening to me. But you know what? 
I'm not going to listen to them. I'm not going to let them stop me. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? It doesn't work out, and I'm right where I am right now. But I think I can accomplish anything if I just try. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a famous writer. Hey, Connor, how's it going? Uh, it's going okay. I'm, I'm not feeling that well today. Oh, I'm sorry, Connor. I know it's tough, but it's something that you're going to have to live with. I know. I know. I've accepted it by now. I just want to make sure I can work on my art. Well, Connor, I'm glad that you're working on art, but you just have to make sure that you don't push yourself too much. You don't want to make your sickness worse. Yeah, I know. I, I just really want to make a difference in this world, and I feel like I have a lot to say. Well, that might be true, Connor, but you just have to make sure that you do it all with balance. I just don't want to see you get any sicker, okay? All right, doctor. I promise I'll make sure I take care of myself, too. Good. That's all I'm asking. All right, thanks. Well, I guess I'll see you next week, then. All right, sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Connor, I've got some really good news. Oh, really? What is it? Well, you've been accepted to submit some of your writing to a major publication. This could be huge. No way, I can't believe it. I know, it's so exciting. I really think that you can make it as a writer. You have an amazing vision. Oh, thank you so much, but I don't know if that's true. You should never doubt yourself, Connor. I'm telling you, you're so talented. You're going to go really far. Wow, thank you so much. I really, really hope so. No problem. You just got to stay focused. And when people try to bring you down, just don't listen. You have to believe in yourself. Okay, I will. I promise. Yeah, hi, this is Connor. Wait, you love my work and you want to publish it? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! A TV interview? Uh, I don't know, do you think people want to hear my voice? Wow, they really will? I can't believe this, I'm gonna be published and I'm gonna be on TV? Oh, my dreams are starting to come true. I'm so glad that I stuck with the plan. I think it's really gonna finally pay off. So, Connor, I just have to ask you, what's it like being one of the most important writers of your generation? Oh, I don't know if that's so true, but I'm really grateful for everything. I can't believe that this is happening. I gotta tell you, you are an inspiration. You have such a unique perspective because everything that you've gone through, it's unbelievable. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, and, you know, I, I've been really self-conscious about how my voice sounds, so I've tried to use the written word to express myself. Well, everyone loves hearing you speak. You're an amazing person, Connor. Wow, thank you so much. Do you have any advice you want to give other people? Someone out there that might be in a similar situation or trying to accomplish something as large as you? Well, I just want to say, no matter what, you should always follow your dreams and your passion. There'll be people that'll tell you you can't accomplish things, but if you believe it and you put in the effort, anything you want in life can be yours. Wow, that is truly inspiring. Well, thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to reading more of your work. Connor. Oh, Tony, what do you want? Look, man, I read your book, and I gotta say, it was the best thing I've ever read. And I'm really sorry about the way that I treated you. It was so messed up. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. You need to learn not to judge people and treat everybody fairly. I know, I'm really sorry. I have a lot of insecurities, and I take them out on other people. It doesn't make it right. I just, I feel bad, okay? I, I didn't realize how much pain you were in until I read the book. I just didn't get what you were going through. Uh, it's okay. 
I'm glad you learned your lesson, and uh, I hope that maybe someday we could be friends. Yeah, I would really like that. Thank you.